Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your end of November spirit messages. So before I begin, I have a message for you um, from the universe. Um, good job. I don't know what that means, but you may know what it means to you. They're saying good job. They are patting you on the back for something. Um, it's kind of like you broke through a really tough cycle and you will be enjoying the next few chapters of your life. Um, and if you, obviously you're gonna have hard times, but they're not going to be affecting you like they used to. You are like a walking shield, if that makes any sense. You're a, a brave person. Whether you're younger, more older, wiser, um, they're saying good job from the universe. They're watching you. They're watching your every move and they are they're proud of you. So, yeah. All right. Let's get a card here. Wow. Just in time for the holidays. It's very festive too. Wow. This is the cracker card. Look at how festive it is. Da -da -da. <laughs> I love everything festive. So it says positive energy surrounds you. You see? I knew it. It says love, joy, and good fortune await. I mean, come on now. <laughs> I knew it. I felt it. This is why they're saying good job, patting you on the back. It's like you're able to celebrate life now. This is what I mean. You're going to be enjoying the next few chapters of your life. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. Yes. I love it. I love that one. It makes me happy. <laughs> so I'm going to pull a card from the chakra. Let's get one for Pisces, please. My lovely little fishies. There you go. We have flexibility. Look at that. You are definitely being flexible in your time, life, everything. You are balancing out everything. You're more balanced, centered, and that is why there's positive energy around you. It's kind of like, look at the light is shining on you. Look at that. You bring the light. You are inspiring those around you as well to do the same. Happy changes, positive changes is what I'm seeing here. Let's get one more. I feel like I want to get one, get one more. Shh, don't tell the other ones. Clarity. Wow, look at that. These are crystals. Clarity. You're able to see things clearly now. The fog has lifted. You're able to understand any situation that you're in. If you notice, the clouds behind there are dark skies. You are able to see things clearly in no, no matter what situation. Clear or dark skies. You can call bullshit on it too. Your mind has a better understanding. Your focus is sharp right now. You focused on the positive and I think that's what got you to this place now. I, I really do. I love it. <laughs> Shit, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Let me pull a card from the Angels of Atlantis. Okay, give me a card for Pisces. Card for Pisces. Oh, what is this? We have Archangel Raphael, which is Earth Force. Earth Force. I feel like I have to read that one to you. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Archangel Raphael. Interesting. It's like standing out to me. Here it is. Okay, so, oops, wrong one. Okay, so Earth Force. Raphael lovingly suggests that you are in need of grounding. Here he reminds you of the beautiful energies that course through centers like the Glat, uh, the Glattenbury Tor, the heart chakra of the world. I don't know if I said that right, Glastonbury. 
Burry Tor. If you have been moving too fast, physically or emotionally, as a consequence of stress, take a moment to breathe and find stillness. And that's exactly what I see that you've been doing. This is exactly what you've been doing, okay? You found a way to master that, to ground your yourself because of all the stress that you had to, that you go through. And you still go through stress. I'm not saying that the worst is behind you and all that's left is rainbows and butterflies, doll. And no, but you are mastering certain phases. You broke through the hardest times. All right. It says. Um, a consequence of stress, take a moment to breathe and find stillness and to connect with Mother Earth. I feel like some of you have been spending a lot of time in, in Earth too, like going on long walks, hiking, okay, spending time in nature, and that's how you are healing. That's what brings you clarity, peace of mind. That's what you do to, I feel like that's what some of you do to de-stress, and, and if you're having a hard time to de-stress, that would be perfect for you to do. Okay, it says, Gaia is always present present to you to hold you and help you. And just like unconditional motherly love, she gives account of who you truly are and all of your beauty and purity. Let Gaia hold the stress for you and all will be well. Chant Ha three times to open your connection to the earth element within. I do feel like you have been taking care of your body with... This is your earth, right? This is your body. This is the physical. You have been breaking through any difficulties, which could be health issues as well. And you're working towards it. You're being flexible, more healthy. And that is why we have positive energy. Because when you see things clearly and you exercise your willpower, is what I'm seeing here, that's what brings the happiness and everything else that follows. It's the energy you bring. I'm going to pull a card from the angels, gods, and goddesses deck. So message for Pisces, please. My little fishies, mermaids, dolphins, sharks, even the sharks, which are my little grouchy Pisces. I'm going to call you guys sharks. For the grouchy Pisces, okay, men or women, you guys are the sharks. <laughs> now, do you want to be a shark, dolphin? A starfish, a seahorse, a beautiful enchanting mermaid. That's up to you, boo. Woo! This fell right on my lap, so I'm taking it. <gasps> Goddess of strength. This is what I was talking about in the beginning when the universe was thanking you, saying good job, because you broke through something. It's because of your strength. So, Goddess of strength. The angel is reminding you. Stand up for what you believe. You will gain respect by holding your ground. You see that? Stand up for what you believe. And this is what you had to overcome. Speaking your truth, your mind. Also providing that clarity to others who do not understand or see what you see. You are the perfect person for the role and that's why you were chosen. And that's why you're getting a good job. Okay, so let me get a card from the Syrian Starseed Tarot, which is like a humongous deck <laughs> in my little mailbox, just full. So maybe there's a special delivery pretty soon. Let's see here. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Let's see here, Pisces. This one. Oh, two. My bad. Okay. Wow. These two together, it just says it all. First of all, we have the nine of orbs. Okay. This is, I feel like this is what you were overcoming. This is the nine of orbs, which is the nine of swords. Being in constant fear of what could go wrong. Being in your head, in your mind. Thinking the worst case scenario. The worst outcome fearing that you'll lose your loved ones and yourself and everything what if this happens and it all falls down like it was constantly taking on the energies of others as well picking them up thinking they're your own maybe they they weren't because you're very highly intuitive and you can pick up on those energies 
I feel like this is this is the main thing you overcame and may some of you okay some of you may have still are working towards anxiety but this you are working with it it's not affecting you as badly as it used to you are working ways you are working through the anxiety finding ways to work through it is what I'm seeing and now we have the seeker of flames you are finding and searching things that you are more passionate about the seeker as you finding searching for what makes you happy what sparks up your fire within what's fueling what's adding to it what makes it more what keeps it burning and what are the things that that push that out that not push it out because you can't push fire out but what um takes it out I definitely feel like you are searching more for things that make you more passionate, more happy. And that's why we have the cracker card. Because you you push through it. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. So, I am going to pull a card from the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Just one to see um, what advice Spirit has for you in your romantic you know, more sensual part of yourself and life, relationship, etc. One card for Pisces. That's way too many. Maybe you need a lot. <laughs> Let me see. Interesting. Pisces. We have the moon. You have hidden desires that need to be unleashed. You have hidden desires that need to be played out, that need to be embraced. Maybe you haven't had the opportunity to embrace your sensual side. Something that's hidden, mysterious, only you know about. I feel like Spirit is telling you it's time to unleash that. It's time to have fun with it. It's part of who you are. Don't tuck it away. Bring it out and see how much more enjoyable, how much more love and excitement there'll be in your life. So I'm going to pull a card from, I'm going to pull one more card from the angels, gods, and goddesses to wrap it up for my Pisces. What message do you have? One more for Pisces, please. Thank you. We have the angel of support. The universe has heard your silent call for help. This was your silent call for help when you were in the nine of swords, the nine of orbs. They heard it. They lifted you up. They showed you the way. And because you broke through it with the goddess of strength, you broke through it with the earth force. You are now getting a good job from the universe because you went through a test and it was difficult for you and you're constantly going through tests. But this one was a hard one and congratulations, okay? So I'm gonna end it there for you. Look at that beautiful happiness awaits, fortune awaits. All right, Pisces, this was your end of November spirit messages. Please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, thank you for supporting me. I truly appreciate every single one of you guys. And let me know in the comments below if it resonated. And um, if you want to book a private, everything is also down below. Bye. Remember to just keep swimming.